This video begins the Network Defenses section. In this video, we'll cover the Yes Man Honeypot. Here are the topics. After reviewing the TCP handshake, uh, we'll then talk about port scanning with ZenMap and show you the Yes Man Honeypot. As you may recall, a TCP connection requires three packets. The computer initiating the connection, in this case the client, sends a SYN up to a server. The server replies with SYNAC, and then the client replies with ACK. After that, the two machines can exchange data in both directions. ZenMap is a graphical front end to the famous NMAP port scanner, and it's what a lot of people use to begin acquiring information about a host to see what ports are open. Uh, if you scan the local host, 127.0.0.1, you can do this project with one machine. And on my machine, you'll see all 1,000 ports are filtered. Uh, there are no listening processes on my machine, so none of the ports appear to be open. The point of the honeypot is to confuse the tool Nmap and the similar tool Zenmap. And here's how it works. The heart of this program is the last line, sniff. PRN equals find SYN. Sniff will listen on the network for packets, and the PRN parameter shows that every tells it what function to run on every packet. So every packet that comes on the network will be fed into this function as an argument, and all this function does is collect the TCP flags, if there are any, and if it is a TCP SYN packet, then send the correct response by reversing the IP address of source and destination and changing the TCP flags to SYNAC and calculating the correct sequence and acknowledgement numbers and sending it back. So this performs the second stage of the TCP handshake for every SYN that it detects. And the result is the NMAP tool now finds every port open. So the information that the attacker may have hoped to gain from NMAP is greatly degraded, and that may confuse or slow down attackers or automated tools. So let me show you that. Here is my machine. The first thing I'll do is scan it locally with ZenMap. I run ZenMap, and it starts in this small window. I'll make it bigger. All right, I put in the loopback address and scan. The scan takes a couple of minutes, which is normal, but we should see some results quickly. There we go. I think it, there it is going. All right. So it loads a bunch of scripts, begins scanning, and it typically takes a couple of minutes to run. But really, what we've already seen here is enough. By now, it would have seen open ports if it were going to see open ports. Let that run while I go to the other window and uh, take a look at, there's my other window. All right, let's take a look at the Yes Man Honeypot while that scan is running. Here's the script. I'll get rid of the colors. All right, so here I import some libraries. And down here is the only command that runs directly, the sniffs. And here's that script that will reply to every SYN with the correct SYN app. So I'll stop that and I'll get ready to run this. Python and map. Let's take a look at this. All right. And this is taking too long. I think for purposes of the video, this is enough. I don't think we need to wait for the end of this. I'm going to cancel that scan. It's ready to send another. Now let's take a look at what happens when I'm running the Yes Man Honeypot. Now it's listening, and if I go back to ZenMap and scan it now, it starts again, and right away, as you see, it finds a bunch of open ports. So, this is the goal of the Honeypot. It creates a confusing network situation that will cause attackers to waste their time. So that's a very simple Honeypot, an example of a defense system.